This video will demonstrate how to edit a field boundary within the Sirius mobile device. I'm at the field level currently. You can tell that because it says the field level name with the acres. If you weren't, just make sure you navigate down to the field level view. You'll notice I'm clicked on the home button down here in the bottom left. And with that, you have the field options drop down list. And I'm going to select that second option to edit a boundary. That puts this in the edit mode. You can come in here and there's a few options, but I'm going to click the edit vertex select that particular polygon and then you could add more vertices to that or take them away uh, I could zoom in a little bit and again get right on the head of that and pull that down to where you want to drop that on that particular field boundary outline and I'll zoom out a zoom up here on the top right hand side you'll notice this small polygons off just a little so I'm gonna click the when you're done editing I'm gonna hit the compl complete edit vertex then I'll come over and select the second polygon hit my tool button and go back to edit vertex on that I can grab those vertices, pull those out to fit the boundary extent. I can click between two different vertices to drop a new vertice, pull that out to where I want to cover that field at. And again, same thing down here. So if I come down here and pull this out to where I want this to be, this is all one meter imagery. So it's pretty accurate as far as the accuracy goes of the boundary itself. And once I get everything laid in there like what I want, then I'll come down here and I'll hit this complete edit vertex in the blue and save that in the top right. That tells you that by editing a boundary any of your previously collected management zones will be deleted. Those are just the spatial areas of the containers. That's not the data. The data is still there. I'm going to hit the Save button and hit Save to that grower farm field and that updates that boundary with that edited boundary file.